Okay, so on this video we talk all about the trigonometric uh, functions. So we have the some uh, formulas of trigonometric uh, functions that uh, can be used no, in our example problem. No? Okay, so again, uh, first uh, trigonometric functions is the, the integral of sine u du is equal to negative cosine u plus c. Then the integral of cosine u du is equals to sine u plus c, no? Okay. The next is the integral of tan u du is equals to ln uh, absolute of second u plus c, no? Then the fourth is the integral of cotangent u is equals to ln sine u plus c. The next is the, the integral of second u du is equals to ln second u plus tan u plus c. Okay. The next is the cosecant u du is equal to ln cosecant u minus cotangent uh, u. So again, consider this example uh, which is number one, the integral of sine quantity of 4x cubed plus 7 times x squared dx. No? Okay. So first, uh, we get the value of u since... Uh, Number one, uh, formulas of trigonometric functions is uh, can be applied, no? Okay. So let's say you here that is equals to four x cubed plus seven. Then derivative of u that is du, and that is equals to the derivative of four x cubed, that is twelve x squared. Then the derivative of 7, which is constant, no? and it will automatically zero. No? Then we have dx here. Then we get uh, dx equivalent. No? So dx is equals to uh, du over uh, 12 x squared. Okay. Then again, uh, we change the given, which is the value of u and du, you no? Know? Okay. So we have the integral of sine. And this can be u. Okay. Then we have x squared here. Then we have our uh, equivalent, equivalent dx is equals to du over 12 x squared. So now we can cancel x squared here. Okay. So therefore we have uh, 1 over 12. The integral of sine uh, u du. You know. okay. Okay. So we all know that is uh, or the equivalent of the integral sine u du is equal to negative uh, cosine u plus c. You know. So therefore we have 1 over 12 minus or times the negative cosine uh, u plus c. Okay. Then substitute the value or the equivalent of u. No? So that is equals to negative 1 over 12 then cosine which is the quantity of the 4x cubed, then plus 7, then we have plus c here. Okay. So this is the final answer. So next, what is the integral of cosine quantity of e to power 2x times e to power 2x, no, dx, okay? So let's say you here that is equals to e to the power 2x. Okay, so this is our u. Okay, then du here is equals to e to the power 2x. Then we uh, we get the chain rule, no? Or we apply chain rule here. So so that uh, the derivative of uh, 2x that is equals to 2, no? 
we have dx here. So therefore, the equivalent of dx that is equals to uh, du over e to the power or 2e to the power 2x. Okay. Now we cannot substitute or we can change change the given. No? So we have uh, the integral of cosine u okay. then times the okay. times the e to the power 2x then substitute the equivalent uh, dx no which is du over 2 to the power e to the power 2x and now uh, we can cancel the to e to the power 2x here and then we have one half the the integral of cosine okay. cosine u du no? okay so again uh, take note the integral of cosine u du is equals to sine u plus c so therefore this is one half sine u okay plus c okay. substitute the equivalent uh, u that is equals to one half uh, sine e to the power 2x then plus c okay. so that is the final answer